This is the review of the all new Honda City, the fifth generation. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. Today I am going to make a new video, so please sabar kara sabara kara sabar whatever. Uh, I want to reach one million, so please sabara 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 kara sabara kara. Let's throttle to the video. Let's have a look on the exterior of the Honda City. Rajveer, shed some light on the exterior. In the front section, get this colossal chrome bar which makes the city more captivating on the roads. There's Honda logo right in the middle of the grill. The 9 array LED headlamp is an easter egg of the previous generation, covering the Civic and the Accord. The front portrait of the 5th generation has a more of a confident and detailed stance. It's more of an uptight. Moving on to the side section, we see creases across the body, which is best suited with the silver color finishing. There's 185 section tires and 18 inch alloys, which helps with the fuel efficiency. It has a decent amount of 40 liters of fuel tank capacity. It is just decent. Okay. Moving towards the rear, the tail section looks normally good. Just good. Kam chal jayega. But as much as the chrome bar was on the front, you don't see 10% of it on the tail section. Why Honda? The new Honda City has LED tail lamps, which illuminates itself in Z-style pattern. There's no fike exhaust steps, that's a good thing Honda. There's 500 liters of boot space capacity, in which you can murder somebody and bury the whole family. Uh, <laughs> are you comedy me? <laughs> but. It also has sufficient ground clearance, so you will not get stuck on the speed breaker. <laughs> Overall, the iconic shark fin antenna is there, and for the claustrophobic, the big sunroof in the top variant. Spend some money and you will have some air in the cabin. <laughs> so how is the design overall Rajvi? Design is not too simple, not too overstyled. It's just balanced. Take Nikal chal nikal jaldi se nikal. Get out of my shop. Hey, bhaga ki bra. Do me a favor please. Get out of here. Get out of here man. Shit, I'm saying. Let's get inside the interior of the new Honda City. It has a pleasant cabin feel. There's a thick cushioning in the seat for the long ride related comfort as always in Honda City. The rear seats aka the second row is the place where you want to get comfortable with and stretch your legs. But though it is spacious, there's no adjustable headrests, there's no adjustable rear seats and there's no air purifier. Hopping off into the front row, you get a better glance at how the drive flow feels inside. There's multiple leather stitching across the dashboard and the cabin and there's this glossy wood treatment and new 8 inch touchscreen display which is looks aftermarket as compared to the rival car Verna. And also the hard plastic inside the cabin is a deal breaker. But it has a IV tech and ID tech which means it is going to be low maintenance vehicle. And also there is some noticeable amount of body roll on turns. But my personal opinion on the interior of the Honda, it could have been better. It should have been better because it was the facelift. Here are the features list of the 5th generation Honda City. Here are the dimension of the long 5th generation Honda City. Here are the limited color options on your screen. Now let's talk about engine and performance. It has 1.5 liter ID Tech or IV Tech DOHC engine, which is available in petrol and diesel option as well. It gives mileage around 24.1 km per liter, and it depends on the variant you choose. It has four cylinders with four valves per cylinder. It comes with manual and automatic as well. In the manual, it comes with seven speed gearbox and it pulls on front wheel drive. The turning radius of this car is 5.3 meters. This car can go 0 to 100 km per hour in 10.29 seconds. And the top speed of this car is 175 km per hour. It has front disc brakes, 
but has rear drum brakes. Surely Honda has done cost cutting there. अरे कमलेश भाई जरा ये लोग को बताओ ना नई वाली Honda City का प्राइस हाँ तो और वेरियंट भी बताना हाँ तो बता नहीं देने भाई तो ये आती है वी एक्स वी और जेड एक्स में थोड़ा ऊपर नीचे हो गए पर V जो है वो बेस मॉडल है उसमें आपको उस बेसिक सेफ्टी फीचर मिल जाएगा और दूसरा जो है वी एक्स उसमें फीचर के साथ साथ सेफ्टी भी मिल जाएगा और तीसरा है जेड एक्स जो कि आपको फील गुड मटेरियल दे देगा जैसे कि सनरूफ और जैसे कि सनरूफ तो सबसे बेटर कौन सा है वी एक्स में सबसे बेटर है और आपके ऊपर है कि आपको मैनुअल लेना है या सीवीटी लेना है वैसे मैं तो प्रिफर करता हूँ डीजल को डीजल में मैनुअल में वी एक्स ले लो जो कि आपको चौदह लाख में मिल जाएगा एने? ये मेरा तो हो गया मैं इतना ही बताएगा कमलेश भाई तो डीजल लेने का वी एक्स मैनुअल ट्रांसमिशन में वही लेने का रे मैं जा रहा है तो अब बात करते हैं कॉम्पिटेटर्स ऑफ होंडा सिटी उसमें आते हैं वरना सियाज यारिस रैपिड और वेंटो और मैं इस कार को दूंगा फोर स्टार क्योंकि इसका ड्राइव फील अच्छा है और लेस कन्फ्यूजन देता है वेरियंट्स में और यह हमेशा से अच्छी कार रही है और इसको और अच्छा होना चाहिए था ओवरऑल मुझे यह गाड़ी पीछे से बी और आगे से एक कॉरपोरेट बंदा लगता है पर आ, ये होंडा सिटी है होंडा सिटी किसको नहीं पसंद सो ये होंडा सिटीज़ सबसे ज़्यादा कंफर्ट और सबसे ज़्यादा अच्छी इंजन और माइलेज प्रोवाइड कर रहा है तो प्लीज़ आप अगर आपको इंजन माइलेज और कंफर्ट चाहिए और सीटिंग स्पेस चाहिए तो प्लीज़ ऑप्ट फॉर होंडा थैंक यू